Ah, Louisiana. It's more than great Cajun food and jazz music. It's home to arguably the most biodiverse wetlands in North America. Over 50% of the state is lush cypress swamps and marshes. Perfect habitat for nearly 500 species of animals. While seemingly a paradise for wildlife, for most, the food chain means life is a constant struggle for survival. A game of predator and prey. Combined with the exponential effects of climate change, one might think all wild things are doomed. And for many species, one would be right. Many species will succumb to the devastating effects of climate change. Others will embrace and adapt to it. One such champion, the black-bellied whistling duck. This large gregarious duck sports drab-colored feathers and long, bright pink legs and bill. Due to aggressive conservation efforts, it survived near extinction in the early 1900s. It was rarely seen along the Louisiana Gulf Coast until the 1950s. Then, the black-bellied whistling duck population began to boom as it utilized a cavity-rich maritime forest along the Gulf Coast for nesting colonies. However, these ideal nesting grounds would not last. Sea level rise, salt water intrusion, more destructive storms and a backwash of the Mississippi River have ultimately begun to erode away the coastal maritime forest at a rate of one football field per hour. What once was vital stands of live oak, cypress, willow and bay trees is now only a few ghostly skeletons. Where would the ducks nest? Against all odds, this resilient bird adapted. Over the past decade, biologists have noticed that a large portion of the population has shifted its nesting range north to central Louisiana. The new nesting grounds, predominantly 200 to 500 year cypress trees, have proven successful. With ample nesting cavities, food and cover, population numbers are now the highest in history. But is the promised land full of false hopes? Are predators waiting to make the next move? <laughs>